It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Bucks and the Lions, next on Madden Football. First open in 2002, there's a look inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, the Motor City. Today we've got an NFC matchup on tap as it'll be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers taking on the Detroit Lions. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And before kickoff, Charles, quickly, your keys to the game. Well, partner, I could give you the standard ones, turnover, special teams play. But here's one that doesn't get talked about much anymore, and that's time of possession. Whoever controls the football, gives their defense a break, and takes care of business, that's the team that's going to win this ball game. Here's the former Illini kicker, Chase McLaughlin, to get us started. And we are underway from Ford Field. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. And they're brought out by a former number one overall pick coming off one of his best seasons ever in year seven of his career, now in year eight, Jared Goff. And at one point, the ascension of Jared Goff was really, really strong. Back-to-back -back Pro Bowls, took his team to the Super Bowl, and came really within one quarter of winning it. But since that time, he's had bouts of inconsistency, and that's been the struggle for him as he tries to get back to the form he showed earlier in his career. Give him three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. First run of the game for Jameer Gibbs, the Alabama product. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 11 yards there and a lion first down. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. On first and 10, golf. He'll leave it for Montgomery complete. And he will be out of bounds here on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. No score after one on EA Sports. Second quarter action now from Detroit, and it's the homestanding Lions who have the football as they're looking at a second down and nine to go. They will run for the first time with David Montgomery. And he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Here's third and three. Back to throw, gone. Throw to St. Brown, complete on the left side. He'll wind up being stopped for no gain, and it'll lead to a fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. And here now the punter, Fox, as he sends this one away. Calls for the fair catch, makes the fair catch just inside the 15-yard line. So out come the Bucks now for their first drive. And bringing them out is the top pick in the 2018 draft. Fiery competitor from Oklahoma, Baker Mayfield. And he's a guy who plays with a lot of emotion. He's learned how to channel it really positively because when he throws the football downfield and makes a big play, he'll be the first guy downfield to celebrate with you. 
but also when his team needs that confidence, when they need that joy, they turn to him, and he's ready to provide it. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Now a second and two. Final play of the half, Mayfield. Incomplete. So plenty of action on the field, but no action right now on the scoreboard, at least as of yet. Nothing, nothing is our score. As we'll send you down to Orlando, and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Not too much to show you in terms of scoring plays. In fact, there's nothing to show you. A scoreless tie here at the half. Both of these defenses have been outstanding thus far. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. After a rare scoreless first half, these teams now just looking for something as the second half gets underway. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. And Charles, a scoreless first half. How does that change how you assess things here moving forward? Well, it doesn't change it a whole lot because, remember, it's still scoreless, which means you're starting from zero again, so you just have one half to play instead of two. What I would look at my play sheet, though, and see is something that maybe loosens things up for my guys, gets a smile on their faces, and gets them going to begin the second half. I wonder if they're wandering back to the huddle thinking to themselves, can we just hit rewind and go back a play? Definitely not the down they wanted to begin this drive by giving up a sack, but for the defense, that's exactly how they drew it up. Now they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. Gets the check down throw to right. To give him two yards there on the completion. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Now a timeout called for by the defense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Here comes the Buccaneers punter now. And no room for air here as his first punt comes from deep in his own end zone. And he's able to get it out of there. Taken on the midfield logo. So three quarters in the book, still no one on the scoreboard. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Ford Field. They'll come up first and 10 here. As it looks like we are just about set and ready to begin with the fourth. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. And I believe the referee's been buzzed. Yeah, they want to take another look at this call, and it's certainly a big one here late in a tight game. 
Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the officials and the folks in New York got a second look at this one, and the call is going to be overturned. Defensively, we always know that he is tough and run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. They'll come to the line now on a third and six. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two. Boy, here's a big one. You can just feel it. This is third down now. Now it's gone. That is caught. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Final minute, one timeout remaining. First and 10. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. At this stage, you've got to hustle. You've got to get back to the line of scrimmage because you're saving that timeout to make sure you have a chance to get your kicker out there for the big shot. Here's second and a yard. They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. And they get the timeout called here. It comes with one second remaining on the clock. So everything hanging in the balance, resting on the right foot of Michael Badgley. And now we'll get a timeout here. They're able to stop it with one second to go in this game. And now it all rests on the right foot of their kicker. The clock showing just one tick. This for the win. And it is good. He splits the uprights on the chip shot. And the Lions are going to win this game. So this one's over. It's a win for the Detroit Lions. And not all W's are created equal, CD. And this one came in shutout fashion. Well, their offense certainly didn't need to do anything, right? They could take the day off, and they did. But the defense, they carried them in a big way. Yeah, look, the offense obviously stuff to work on, but they did enough, and the defense carried the load. Well, you know what they say. It's always fun to work on things if it didn't go well in your game with a victory in your pocket. And that's what they've got going forward.